I am Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. This time out, we're checking out David Royer's take on a classic tube microphone from the golden age of Hollywood recording. Let's get started. The original Sony C37A microphone was incredibly popular during the golden age of Hollywood recording, basically in the 60s, and on from there as well. It sort of dropped out of sight for a while, but there's been a lot of interest in the 37A recently. We've seen several different versions of it, and now we have David Royer's take on this classic microphone. David's been a fan of this classic microphone for more than 30 years, so when he and Mojave Audio sat down to make this microphone, they wanted to make the best version they possibly could. You've got premium components, fantastic sound quality, everything that's offered in the vintage microphone, and more. If you're not familiar with the C37A, you've heard it a million times. For example, Mel Blanc, the voice artist behind all those Looney Tunes cartoons, tunes. All those voiceovers were done through a C-37A microphone. You've heard it with Leonard Bernstein in his orchestra recordings, Jimi Hendrix guitar cabinets, Daniel Lanois production, and even Frank Sinatra's vocals. So this is a microphone that can handle pretty much anything. It's got a big, warm, robust sound. In fact, you're hearing it on my voice now in this video, and it works well on just about any source. The original C37A was an interesting microphone because it takes a different approach than some of the other popular tube microphones of the day, the 47s, 67s, and so on. It's a single pattern microphone, but there's actually an acoustic chamber inside. There's a small hole here on the back of the microphone. You reach in there, turn the adjustment, and it actually converts the polar pattern using an acoustic chamber rather than using an electronic method. In David Royer's version of this microphone, we've got an EF-806 tube inside. There's a Lundahl transformer, and we've got a custom-made transformer that's made in California. And in keeping with David Royer's simple but elegant design philosophy, we've got a very simple single-stage amplifier inside the microphone. This keeps the sound clean and very dynamic. With the MA-37, we've got frequency response from 30 hertz to 18 kilohertz, so plenty wide to handle low-frequency instruments all the way up to the highest harmonics of acoustic instruments. Of course, this is a tube microphone, so we do need to have a power supply. And on the power supply, we have a switch here on the front panel that allows us to select two different low-cut settings. M, or the main setting, is flat, no low-cut filter in place. The first setting is at 100 hertz, and the 6 dB down point for that is at 40 hertz. V2, or the second setting, is at 200 hertz, and the 6 dB down point for that is at 100 hertz. Among the flat setting and the low cut filter settings, you can tailor the low end response to take out rumble or to handle any low frequency problems you might have in your studio. But the best way to experience the MA-37 is to hear it. Here's some tracks recorded by our own Sean Dealey in Sweetwater's Studio A. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this look at the MA-37 from Mojave Audio. It's a classic vintage style microphone with a warm yet articulate, big, round, rich sound that works on pretty much any source you want to put it in front of. Thanks for joining me today. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this or start at Sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.